Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the tenth series of clinical research and pharmacovigilance. In this video, we are going to see about spontaneous reporting of ADRs, predictability assessment of ADRs, and preventability assessment of ADRs. First, what is spontaneous reporting of ADRs? Spontaneous reporting of ADRs is a fundamental component of the pharmacovigilance which is uh, the practice of monitoring and evaluating the safety of medications and medical products after they have been approved for use. Spontaneous uh, reporting involves a voluntary submission of the information about the suspected ADRs to regulatory authorities or other designated organizations. Uh, this process relies on the healthcare professionals, patients, caregivers and sometimes uh, even the pharmaceutical companies to report any ADRs they observe our experience. Uh, first is voluntary reporting. Uh, healthcare professionals, patients, and caregivers are encouraged to report any adverse events uh, they suspect might be linked to the medication or the medical product. These reports uh, are entirely voluntary and individuals are not obliged to report. Then, report submission. Reporting uh, can be done through various channels such as online reporting forms, phone hotlines or paper-based forms, many regulatory authorities have established dedicated platforms for submitting the ADR reports. Then information uh, included, the ADR reports uh, typically include information about the patient, uh, the suspect medication, <coughs> the adverse uh, events, any concomitant uh, medications being taken and any relevant medical history. The more detailed and accurate uh, the information, the better the assessment of ADR's casualty and severity. Then processing and analysis. Regulatory authorities review and analyze the spontaneous ADR reports and identify the patterns, trends, and potential safety concerns. These reports contribute to signal detection, which involves identifying new or unexpected ADRs that might not have been detected during the pre-marketing uh, clinical trials. Then causality assessment. Regulatory agencies assess the likelihood that the reported ADR is causally related to the medication. Causality assessment involves evaluation factors <coughs> such as temporal relationship between the drug administration and the onset of the adverse event, the absence of other likely causes and previous knowledge of similar ADRs associated with the drug. Signal management, if a potential safety signal is detected from the spontaneous reports, regulatory agencies may take various actions. They include updating the drug labels with new safety information, issuing safety alerts or warnings, or conducting further investigations. Then global collaboration. Spontaneous reporting is not limited to individual countries. It's a part of global effort. Many countries share ADR data through international collaboration networks, allowing for the identification of global trends and patterns. Feedback and communication. In some cases, the regulatory agencies provide feedback to the reporter about the outcome of their ADR report. This helps build a sense of accountability and transparency in the pharmacovigilance process. What is the use of spontaneous reporting of ADRs? Spontaneous reporting of ADRs play a vital role in post-marketing surveillance as it allows for collection of real-world data on safety profile of medications. It helps to identify rare or unexpected adverse events that might not have been detected during the clinical trials, thus contributes to ongoing assessment of the medication's benefit, risk balance, and patient safety. Let us see the examples of spontaneous reporting of ADRs. So it includes healthcare reporting, patient self-reporting, caregiver reporting, then pharmaceutical reporting. Suppose some batch, they may get information from the market that it, the patients are experiencing this problem. Then unexpected symptoms of after medication change. Suppose the patients may change from the prescribed medication that is they may change to generic medication and they may experience uh, any problem they can report and unexplained uh, laboratory abnormalities suppose elevation of uh, the uh, the liver enzymes it can be a sign it could be reported 
then uh, let us see predictability assessment of ADRs. So what is predictability assessment? Predictability assessment is an ADR pharmacovigilance which involves evaluating whether an adverse event is expected or foreseeable based on the known pharmacological properties of the drug. It's about determining whether the adverse event uh, is direct result of the drug's mechanism of action or is likely to occur due to the drug's known effects on specific physiological process. Predictability assessment helps differentiate between ADRs that are inherent uh, to the drug's intended effects and those that are unexpected or idiosyncratic. Uh, a predictability assessment involves uh, type A reaction assessment. One is predictable or type A reactions or AEs that are directly related to known pharmacological actions of the drug. These reactions are dose dependent and typically occur as an exaggeration of drugs therapeutic effects. For example, a drug with antihypertensive effect might cause hypotension, hypotension on uh, increasing the dose levels. Next, pharmacological mechanisms. To assess the predictability, pharmacologists and clinicians analyze the known mechanism of the drug. This involves understanding how the drug interacts with the specific receptors, enzymes or physiological processes in the body. Then dose response relationship. Uh, predictable ADRs uh, often exhibit a clear uh, DRC that is dose response relationship. As the dose of the drug increases, the likelihood and severity of the AE increases. This is because the pharmacological effects of the drug are proportional to the dose. Then in predictability assessment, uh, clinical experience, uh, the historical and clinical experience with the drug can provide valuable insights to predict the ADRs. These are usually mentioned in the drug's label or prescribing information which lists the known side effects based on the clinical trials and post-marketing surveillance. Then unintended uh, effects. Sometimes the drugs may interact with the unintended, tar unintended uh, targets leading to ADRs that were not initially foreseen. While these effects might not be predictable based on the drug's intended mechanism, they can still be explained uh, through the drug's interaction with the specific biological pathways. Then individual variability. Even with the predictable ADRs, uh, there can be individual variability in response. Some patients uh, might be more sensitive to the pharmacological effects of the drug leading to more pronounced adverse effects. Then differentiation from idiosyncratic reactions. Predictable ADRs need to be differentiated from the idiosyncratic reactions which are unexpected and unrelated to the drug's known pharmacology. Idiosyncratic re reactions are often result from the individual's genetic or immune factors. Then clinical utility. Identifying the predictable ADRs is crucial for healthcare professionals to manage the patient care Knowing what side effects are likely based on the drug's mechanism of action helps in patient counseling, monitoring and determining appropriate dosages. The use of predictability assessment uh, in ADR. Predictability assessment involves understanding how uh, a drug's known pharmacological properties could lead to certain AEs. This knowledge is essential for the healthcare professionals to make informed decisions about the medication use and its contribution to the broader understanding of the drug safety profile in pharmacovigilance. Next is preventability assessment of ADRs. What is preventability assessment? Preventability assessment in the context of ADRs involves determining whether a AE could have been avoided or minimized through appropriate measures. It assesses whether the occurrence of ADR was a result of errors inadequate monitoring or other factors that could have been addressed to prevent or reduce the severity of the event. Preventability assessment is an important aspect of pharmacovigilance in case of patient safety. First is medication errors. A significant portion of preventable ADRs is linked to the medication errors such as incorrect dosing, wrong administration route or drug-drug interactions. These errors can occur at various stages including prescribing, dispensing, administration and patient self-administration. Adherence issues. Preventability assessment also considers cases where the patients fail to adhere to the medical medication instructions leading to AEs. Poor patient understanding, 
forgetfulness or intentional non compliance can contribute to preventable ads for example withdrawal symptoms next is monitoring and surveillance inadequate uh, monitoring of the patients for potential adverse effects can result in preventable ads regular monitoring of vital signs laboratory tests and patient feedback is essential to detect and manage the emerging aes drug interactions some adrs result from drug interactions that could have been anticipated and managed preventability assessment involves evaluating whether the healthcare provider could have identified and mitigated the potential drug interactions then allergic reactions in case of whether the patient's allergy or hypersensitivity to the drug is known the occurrence of an adr might be preventable however it requires proper documentation and communication of allergies across healthcare settings polypharmacy preventability assessment takes into account the instances of polypharmacy where the patients are taking multiple medications rationalization of drug regimens and careful consideration of potential interactions can help prevent the adverse events patient education adequate patient education and counseling play a role in preventing the adrs patients need to be informed about a potential side effects how to recognize them and when to seek the medical help systematic uh, systemic factors sometimes adrs are preventable through improvements in the healthcare systems such as implementation of electronic prescribe systems barcode scanning at the medication administration and improve, improved communication among the healthcare professionals then risk management preventability assessment is closely related to risk management strategies identifying preventable adrs can guide the development of interventions to reduce the likelihood of recurrence learning and improvement analyzing preventable adrs provides valuable feedback to the healthcare systems providers and organizations it helps identify areas of improvement refine process and enhance patient safety let us see the uses put together preventability assessment focuses on evaluating whether an adr could have been avoided through appropriate measures including medication management monitoring patient education and system improvements by identifying the preventable adrs and taking steps to address underlying causes healthcare systems can enhance patient safety and improve uh, the overall quality of care so it's a very short info information of uh, the uh, preventability assessment predictability assessment and spontaneous reporting of uh, adrs i hope uh, it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly go through all the series of videos available in the playlist clinical research and pharmacovigilance in the pharma topics channel uh, and score well in the forthcoming exams thank you